Apache Kafka is a data streaming service. It is open source and used by thousands of companies for streaming analytics. What Apache Kafka does is it takes events or messages from a producer. Now that producer could be an IoT device or a smartphone, and it pushes it to Apache Kafka. Apache Kafka then manages it in such a way so that it can be given to many consumers. Within Apache Kafka, you will find the following components, producers, consumers, brokers, topics, partitions, clusters, and a zookeeper. We'll be looking at each component separately and seeing what they do. Producers. These are the elements that produce the events or messages that are sent to Apache Kafka. These could be a device or an application. The messages that producers send are written to a topic with similar messages inside. It's important to understand that multiple producers can exist within the same application. All the messages that a producer produces are sent straight to the Kafka cluster. Consumers. These are the guys at the opposite end from the producer. They're there to take the messages from the producer and read, or in a more technical sense, consume them. Consumers subscribe to topics, and when messages are sent to those topics, the consumer consumes those messages as they come. When working with Apache Kafka, multiple consumers may consume the same message from the same topic. Though messages are consumed, they aren't destroyed after the process. That's one of the beauties of Apache Kafka. Consumers may consume different types of messages from the clusters as well. Furthermore, consumers know exactly where the data they need to consume is located within the Kafka cluster. Brokers. When we discussed how producers send messages to Apache Kafka, where they actually send those messages to are the brokers within the Kafka cluster. Brokers are the Kafka servers that receive and then store these messages for the consumers to take and consume them. A Kafka cluster may have multiple brokers, and each broker manages multiple partitions, as we'll see soon. Topics. These are simply the defined channels through which the data is streamed. Producers produce their messages to topics. Consumers subscribe to topics to consume the messages within them. It's basically just a means to compartmentalize and organize messages and order them by their particular traits. Topics have unique identifying names within the Kafka cluster, and there can be any number of topics. There's no defined limit. Partitions. Topics are divided into these partitions and are replicated to other brokers. Multiple consumers may read from a topic in parallel with the help of this. With partitions, producers can add keys to their messages to control which partition the message goes to. Otherwise, it just goes around in a round-robin pattern, where one partition gets one message and the other partition gets the next one, and so on and so forth. Keys allow the producer to control the order of message processing, which can be handy if the application requires that control over records. Just like topics, there is no defined limit on partitions, given that the cluster's processing capacity can handle and manage it. Clusters. These are the systems that manage the brokers. It is essentially the entire architecture of brokers that we call a cluster. Messages are written to topics that are within brokers that are within clusters. Those messages are then read by consumers following the same hierarchy. The zookeeper. This element is responsible for managing and coordinating the Kafka cluster. Sort of like a conductor to an orchestra. It notifies every node in the system when a topology change occurs. This can be the joining of a new broker or even the failing of one. The zookeeper also enables leadership elections between brokers and topic partition pairs to determine which broker should be the leader for a particular partition and which ones hold replicas of that data. In layman's terms, the zookeeper manages and coordinates everything that the Kafka cluster does and provides fail-safes for a rainy day.